Hi, happy Friday. It's Emily with Show Me CPR. It has been a while since I've been on. I'm trying to get on more regularly. Now with the new year, I'm starting to get into a schedule. Um, seems like I do my best thinking when I'm sitting in the car. So I am sitting in the car at the parent pickup line waiting for my daughter and wanted to let you guys know of a new program we're officially launching this year. Uh, if any of you know my story on how I started teaching CPR and how I started my business, I'm actually uh, in the middle of writing a blog post for the 10 year challenge. I've officially been an instructor. This is now the start of my 13th year. Uh, so a little over the 10 years for the 10 year challenge, but I am, I've been doing a lot of reflecting and I'm gonna be reflecting in that blog post. Um, just where I started, lessons learned along the way, where I am now and where I am planning on going in the future. So um, my story when I first started, started teaching CPR just kind of out of accident uh, in Arizona, a need when I moved to a subdivision kind of in a rural part of Arizona where our response times were a little bit longer, um, I became known as the door-to-door -door CPR lady. I only had enough money to buy one set of mannequins and I took those mannequins and they were on wheels, they're on the cart on wheels. And I went and just knocked on my neighbor's doors. Hi, do you wanna learn CPR? Hi, do you wanna learn CPR? And we did it right in their living rooms. Sometimes we did it at the neighborhood park um, and just all kinds of different random places. Uh, and my business grew from there. It just snowballed and snowballed. Uh, and part of my mission is really changing the perception of CPR class, changing, changing the perception, getting that out of the way and just breaking down, getting back to basics on what CPR is and why you would want to learn it and um, how we can get out of a rigid classroom environment to where students are comfortable and leave the class more confident because they've had a chance to relax, let their hair down, um, really get into their questions and fears. So we were doing it right in their living rooms. Um, so I'm bringing that now officially and launching a program here at Show Me CPR. And my, I have an amazing website gal and graphic designer. I know you can't really see this because the glare, but she made these beautiful, beautiful cards um, to help me kick this off. But essentially, have you heard of um, the at-home parties, like a makeup party? Uh, we're hosting a paint and sip party tomorrow at our house, so I'm super excited about that. Um, but Tupperware parties, makeup parties, uh, Pampered Chef parties, where you can host and bring your friends and family into your home and then have a get together. Well, how about hosting a CPR class? And you can pick your location or our location um, and do something, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, a Sunday brunch uh, and just host a small gathering of uh, friends and family. Your kids can join in. Um, we can do an ice cream social. We can do a happy hour CPR class, uh, just a theme party if you want, or it doesn't have to be a theme. It doesn't have to be anything special, um, but picture, you know, sitting around the floor in your living room or sitting around the fireplace. I bring all of the supplies, equipments, and uh, handouts, uh, everything that you'll need for that. You just bring your guests. When you host a party and you get 10 guests that are in attendance, your CPR certification is free. So how awesome is that? Um, so this is kicking off now. I've got cards. I'll be handing them out around town. If you're interested in hosting a theme party or want ideas, uh, want suggestions, want to host it at my location, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I will leave my contact information in the video, leave a comment, send me a message, feel free to get in contact and we will schedule a CPR party for you. All right. Have a great day. Bye.